Welcome to the Tool Tractor 3 Quick Start video. We're going to go through a brief overview of this powerful and intelligent analysis application and show some real world examples. When the application starts, it opens at the home screen. The title of the table reads Tools and Downhole History. This table is essentially a complete list of the MWD tools used in drilling at this company. All the information here and the information that we're going to see later on was generated automatically by the application performing a data analysis on the tool tracker data over the course of a year. Each row of the table represents a tool along with information about its last downhole drilling session. Here you can read the tools type, manufacturer's serial number, last downhole session start date, end date, the other tools that were in the same tool string in that last downhole session, the alerts flagged in that downhole session, etc. Let's take a look at this pulser. Clicking on view more will take you to the full list of downhole sessions that this pulser had in the past. Here you have a full life story of this tool. It displays how many download sessions this tool had, when each session started and ended, whether an alert was flagged during that session, and what other MWD tools were in each trip. All of this information may come in very handy when an engineer tries to investigate an intriguing tools issue, or a manager just becomes curious about the detailed operational history of the tool. The home screen has some other convenient features built in. We'll come back to them in a few minutes. The next example shows the power of the auto analysis performed on a tool's downhole trip. From this table, you can click any row, and it will take you right to the analysis summary screen. Let's take a look at this directional module. In this graph, it shows that in its last down, data download from the tool contains two jobs. Each job shows power on time. That's while the tool's on the surface. Trip in, drilling, and trip out. On the first job, no issue was found. On the second job, there are some issues. Each red dot represents an issue. The tool tip shows the first occurrence time. Let's see what the auto analysis has found. Okay, we're looking at possible issues. High shock warning, high axial shock, and gravity out of specification. Possible causes, MWD tool may not be secured in the mule shoe. Additional findings, 1,793 shock warnings preceded the abnormal sensor readings of 8-17-2013. I know we have the exact time that occurred. The sensor pack may have sustained damage resulting from the high shock events. Recommendations. Perform roll test upon tools arrival to the shop. Inspect the sensor pack and directional electronics for damage post roll test. Very interesting. Let's take a deeper look at the data. Double clicking on the drilling bar takes you to the chart screen. The application pulls in the relevant log variables onto the chart based on the issues found. The user can change the log variable selection as desired. Note the bottom right window. It shows the value of the data point that you've selected. Here's the last normal gravity reading. From this point, the gravity readings apparently went wrong and stayed wrong for the rest of the trip. What's abnormal here is the intensity of the high shock during this time window. It might conclude that the high shock happening during this time period caused the sensor pack damage. What really happened is the tool got stuck down hole and a wireline retrieval was attempted. It caused high shocks which damaged the tool. Let's take a look at another example of auto analysis. This time, let's look at a tool string to see how the application puts the power of analysis into the user's hands. In this case, the directional module experienced high shock. With the pulser, the auto analysis finds flow on, no pulse. 
Here the report reads, check connectors, inspect pulse line. Let's dig into the chart. I want to compare directional module flow on data with pulse, pulsar module flow on data. In a normal situation, they should match perfectly. We should only see one color in the chart. But we are seeing two colors. You see a little mismatch of the two modules at the beginning as the drilling going on. The more shocks the tool string experiences, the wider discrepancies show up. This is usually a connector issue. The connectors between the directional module and the pulsar module got loose, and they just got looser as the drilling kept going. Autoanalysis, the ability to intelligently align the data of the tools in the same string, compare across the different boards in the same trip, are powerful new tools that have never been available to users before. The application also has many more thoughtful conveniences. If a user feels the constant need to compare direction module flow on with pulsar flow on, he can create his own favorite tab, give it a name, and the application immediately puts it into its database. That tab will be here when the user launches the application again. And there's an example of it right there. Now the next time the application is open, that will be available and can be checked instantly. We're going to go back to the home screen for a moment. Now we have all these analysis results. What if we want to search over the full inventory for a particular issue? This is when the advanced search button comes in handy. Here we can search for an issue over a particular time period or a certain type of tool. Say we want to know how many downhole trips occurred that had a sensor pack exhibiting abnormal readings. I'm going to search for gravity out of specification. Very interesting. We have four occasions where that occurred. Let's take a quick look at some of the other functions. The Operation History screen will give you a summary of what the tool has experienced over a lifetime. The Notepad screen will show you the notes recorded by the firmware updater and entered by engineers. Tool Tracker can export data in various ways. Send an email to Toltec Support requesting help allowing the user to manually enter job information on a summary graph, etc. On application startup, Tool Tracker automatically detects the tools that are connected to the computer via USB. It intelligently prompts for the firmware and software updates, retrieves the data from the tools, performs a simple sanity check on the hardware, and edits the log configuration of the tools. In short, this is an indispensable application in an MWD engineer's toolbox. It brings completely new insights into the usage of the tool fleet at a customer's hand.